Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing how to fix your CD or DVD drive if your computer is not detecting it, whether or not you might have removed your optical drive or have replaced it and your computer is not recognizing it. This is a quick and simple tutorial to see if we can resolve this issue. Now a little disclaimer, this is not going to guarantee a solution for everybody. However, this should fix a good majority of the people who are experiencing an issue with this. We're going to head down to our start menu and we're going to type in reg edit. We're going to right click on it and then left click on run as administrator. If you get a user account control window, just select yes. Now you want to navigate to H key local machine left click on the little drop down arrow next to it, left click on the little drop down arrow next to system, left click on the little arrow next to current control set, left click on the little arrow next to control, next go to class, left click on the little arrow next to class, now you want to scroll down on this list until you find the file containing 4D36E and those are the first few characters of it. So let's see here. It appears this is it right here. You just have to look for it for a few moments. I will have the instruction of exactly what the file name is in the description of this video. So once you click onto this folder, you're going to see there's different string values listed here. Now what you want to do is delete the two filters on here. You want to delete the lower filters and the upper filters. It's very simple to do this. We're just going to right click on both filters. So I'm going to start with the lower filters. Right click, left click on delete. On the one with the upper filters, I'm going to right click on that. Left click on delete. Click on yes again. At this point, we can close out of the registry editor and restart the computer. Hello everyone, the computer has successfully restarted and the computer should be able to detect our optical drive at this time. So hopefully this tutorial worked out for you guys and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.